All right, what is going on everybody? I'm Scotty, AKA Sports and Hype, and I got a quick little video for you today. I picked this up Thursday um, off the shelf. It was uh, fresh on the shelf, something that come out this week is the 2020 Chronicles Baseball. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know a lot about it. Um, hadn't seen any video rips of it, hadn't read anything about it. Um, I just like the Chronicles basketball that was released. I really liked it. Got a bunch of it, so thought this couldn't be too bad either. Uh, picked up a little blaster just to have a little fun with. Check it out. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it, so don't have high expectations. So that means, as usual, if I don't get anything good, I'm not going to be highly disappointed. If I do get something good, I'm going to be super excited. So, I so said this is a blaster box, $20. Uh, says they had these have four unparalleled cards per box on average um, Might find an autograph It says you've got seven brands making their baseball debut here um, There's the checklist of the unparalleled cards that you might could get it says a variety of rookies from more than 25 iconic brands, which is uh, a lot of brands. I didn't really realize you could get that many different cards in here. Uh, I took a quick glance at the odds here, and it looks like you can get parallels of um, a lot of the cards. And it looks like, uh, as with most things, you've got a variety of of colors you get it looks like red blue purple gold green black um i don't know but this isn't gonna be a, a long video we're gonna get to ripping and see what we get um see if it's something that you might be interested in if you see it on the shelf in your area which hopefully if you are looking for it you can find it i know a lot of people have a tough time finding cards um Hopefully, though, you can find these if you are looking for them. Only four packs per box, five cards per pack. Not a lot. I knew the box felt awful light, and uh, that's why not a lot there. And it does say on here uh, at the bottom that on average you get one, one non-base card in every pack on average. Uh, we've got us some handy-dandy top loaders and sleeves just in case we think we pull something good i'm sure i'll mispronounce a few names but let's get to rip and see what we've got all right right off the bat ken griffey jr old timer there not a bad one this is a classics brand there is a gavin lux legacy Seems pretty good. It's a nice looking card. Dylan Cease. That one is a... Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know what brand that is. But, it's a good looking card. Alright, next up. Mike Trout. Optic Contenders. And it looks like, yep, that's a prism. So I'm assuming that is a silver. Optic contenders. And to me, it looks off-centered. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but it looks like it's been bad miscut. But again, I don't really know, so... I'm assuming it's... Uh, Pretty good card. Just don't know if it's off centered or not. Put that in its top loader there. Now, I mean the back don't look too bad, so maybe it's not off centered. Maybe that's maybe that's what they look like. You can let me know in the comments. Then we've got Nick Solak. Mosaic. Love the Mosaic brand. And nice little card there. Alex Bregman. Unparalleled. No, I love all the shiny cards. I'm like a little kid. I love the shiny stuff. 
All right, second pack. Not a bad first pack, in my opinion. All right, we got Chris Paddock, Scorer. Got a Luis Robert. That's who we're looking for right here, folks. Luis Robert, limited. Limited brand. So that's uh, another pretty good hit. So we'll sleeve him up. Give him a home and a top loader. Then we've got a Leaf Certified Nolan Arnado. Nice looking card there. Leaf Certified Green Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. I'm assuming that's the green because that's the Leaf Certified. It looks like the regular Leaf Certified. This has got to be the green parallel version. I'm assuming that one's not numbered or anything. I don't see it, see it numbered or anything, but nice looking card. Then we've got an Obsidian Jordan Yamamoto. And that one looks like a silver. Uh, maybe that's just what they look like, because I don't see Prism stamped on the back, so maybe that's just what those look like. That's a thick card. I know you can't tell it from there, but that's a thick card. And finally in that pack, you've got an Aaron Judge Unparalleled. Nice looking card. And I'm assuming we need to probably go ahead and sleeve up Mr. Alvarez. Give him a top loader. Two packs in and it seems like we're deeper than that in. Seems like some pretty good cards. I'd Based on the first two packs alone, I'd probably buy another another box of this. Vladimir, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for the Blue Jays and the Chronicles. You got Rookies and Stars, Shogo Akiyama. Not sure I'm saying that right. Got a AJ Puck, Puke, not sure. Not even sure what brand that is. Nice looking card though. We've got a Titan. There's another Dylan Cease. Not sure if he's good or not, but we've got two of them. So hopefully he is. Now there's a mosaic. Uh, silver silver uh, prism mosaic, I would assume. Max Scherzer. So that's a nice card. And we finish it off with a Mookie Betts Unparalleled. Those Unparalleleds look pretty doggone good. Last pack, we're going to call it a day after that. Classics, Brendan McKay. Got a Cody Bellinger Magnitude. Another Leaf Certified, Brendan McKay. There's a Shun Yamaguchi. Not sure if I'm saying that one right. Not sure what brand that is. Got another Mosaic, Jose Altuve. And we're going to finish it off with an unparalleled, unparalleled Bryce Harper. So not too bad in my opinion. Good looking cards. A lot of flash, a lot of sparkle, a lot of shine in these cards. I mean, just going through that. Look at all that shine in there. And I'm assuming the best cards out of it was the Jordan Alvarez Green Parallel. The Luis Robert. Louis Robert, of course, Limited. I'm assuming that is a good one. It's the back of that one. And the Mike Trout Contenders Optic Silver Prism. So not too bad if you see these on the shelf. That'll kind of give you an idea of, of what you, what they're going to look like, what you might get in them. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to keep you any longer than that. We're coming up on the 10-minute mark. I appreciate you tuning in to this one, and hopefully I'll get some more up um, not too long from now. Appreciate it, guys. Until then, stay hype.